What the f is gluten? What is that? What, what, is even, gluten? what even is that? What the gluten? gluten? What is gluten? But what is it? Does it have gluten? Yeah. Coffee has no gluten, right? Is the car entirely gluten free? Gluten free? Yeah, probably. Is this racket gluten free? I don't, I don't know, like, I, I, I really don't know the specifics like that. I'm, I'm not too familiar with the you kind know, of rackets like that. I feel like asking if something is gluten-free is just a good idea. But what even is gluten? Is it bad for me? <laughs> gluten is a protein found in wheat, rye, barley, and triticale, a hybrid between wheat and rye. Gluten is also what allows foods like dough and pastas to maintain its shape, acting like a glue. 10. Gluten is also commonly found in bread, baked goods, pastas, cereal sauces, salad dressings, malt, food coloring, soups, and, oh, it hurts me to say this, beer. Gluten is basically in everything. So the million dollar question is, should you consider going gluten free? One survey from NPD Market Research says in 2013, one third of Americans were actively trying to eliminate gluten from their diet. Although experts predict only 1% of Americans actually have the disease making gluten toxic called celiac disease. To make the gluten scandal even more fuzzy, some people can have a sensitivity to gluten without actually having full blown celiac disease. And since the symptoms of gluten sensitivity can be hard to detect and vary from person to person, diagnosing it can be extremely difficult. Also, from the early 90s to the 2000s, people diagnosed with celiac disease increased more than six times. This increase in gluten-related diagnosis may have led to people wanting to ax gluten altogether. So what should you do? If you have celiac disease or a sensitivity to gluten, this is a no-brainer, get rid of it. And because celiac disease may be hard to detect, going gluten-free might be a good route if you perpetually don't feel well after eating pastas, baked goods, and breads. Also on the upside, a lot of foods with gluten in them tend to be processed and high in simple sugars, which should be avoided anyways. On the flip side, if you don't have celiac disease, you could be missing out on a diet rich in whole grains. The Dietary Guidelines for Americans recommends that at least half of all grains you eat are whole grains. Since many grains with gluten are naturally low in fat, are a great source of complex carbohydrates, and contain key vitamins and minerals, you'd be missing out on a key staple for a healthy diet. You also couldn't eat pizza! But, I mean, I guess they do make pizzas with, you know, without gluten. So if you are actually allergic to gluten, avoid it like wasps with acid lasers or stingers. But if you don't have celiac disease or a sensitivity to gluten, use the benefits of whole grains. Personally, I can never say no to a whole wheat peanut butter and jelly sandwich, because I love them. Are you gluten free? Have you ever tried being gluten free? Do you feel better or worse after you eat foods with gluten in them? Let me know in the comments section below.